All right, that's my Legends pinball. Came in all the way from China, I suppose. And this is me. Yes, that's pretty creepy looking. And with my freaking uh, thing, <laughs> my freaking, I look like a weeble. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. It's scary. But this is a Legends pinball machine. I've been waiting for this for a while. I believe it's Wave 11. And basically, I want to show you how it opens up and so forth. I'm not very good at this uh, voiceovers and so forth. Uh, laid it on its side. There were two pull straps, and basically, I was able to slide it out. Uh, and I didn't fall down this time, so that was pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Now, I was pretty impressed with the packing of this uh, particular uh, item. Uh, I thought, <laughs> I thought they would very well pack, and considering it's probably uh, imported directly from China. It did pretty well. There were two straps on the unit, obviously. Just chop each strap off. One and then the other. Uh, and then once you're done with that, uh, basically now you just start cutting things off. I can't believe I can't tuck in the back of my shirt. Uh, all these things are what happen when you let yourself go and you look like... Hey, okay, now look. In my defense, I'm using the wide-angle lens. Uh, yeah, sure. Right. A uh, little foam backer in the back there. They came in together, uh, and as you can see, lots and lots and lots of pieces here. Um, now that right there is the box that contains the legs of the uh, unit, and then of course you got your outer layer, all very very thick. Uh, the condition of the box itself was actually very uh, good to begin with. Uh, it was in really good shape, uh, you know, little scuffs just like anything. Uh, but it was really very well packed. I was really surprised. Pretty, pretty heavy. A lot of weight comes from the legs and the packaging itself, surprisingly enough. Not that the cabinet is light, we're not. So we just put it on its side to take the bottom off. Pretty easy stuff here. Nothing much to say here. You see that bald spot on top? That's where I put my yarmulke. Uh, that's a yarmulke bald spot. That's not me being old and fat. Uh, I just want everyone here who's watching this video to know that's not an old and fat spot. That's a yarmulke spot. Mm. Just, just just, want to make sure everyone knows. But here we're pulling out all the legs. You got four legs. These are very heavy duty legs. They're much uh, stronger uh, than I had ever expected them to be. Um, I thought they would be, you know, legs, but they are really thick. Here I'm going to show you the parts involved. Uh, they give you one, one extra of each bolt just in case you lose the bolt. Uh, these bolts are put on with an Allen wrench. Uh, so so there are the three parts. You got your Allen wrench, you got your leg, um, and then you got your bolt. So basically, you're just putting them all forward. The nice thing is, is they don't seem to be specific to each corner. <coughs> Excuse me. But basically, they just go to uh, whichever corner you want to put them on. They pop right on. Mostly the hardest part I found doing this entire thing was just uh, aiming the bolts in and uh, yeah, that's what she said. That's what they all say. And uh, you know, basically the aim was the biggest problem I had mostly is getting the bolts in and just getting them to screw in. But they screw in very well. They go in nice and tight. Um, and it, the legs are actually very impressive. Uh, once I saw how good the legs were, uh, originally I thought I was going to have to call the um, peanut gallery, this lady of the house, to come and help me flip it over. Uh, wasn't necessary. I was able to flip it over, put it on its side, and then flip it over on two legs. The, these legs are very strong. They're very strong, and they hold very well to the cabinet. So, uh, I, this is a very impressive aspect uh, of this machine. Here's me doing it the wrong way. There's my shirt tucked out. God, I feel like a moron. But, hey, that's what happens when you let yourself go. And, yes, I let myself go. All right. Now we're going to be pulling out the back box. The back box is probably the lightest thing I've ever felt. I don't think there's really much to it. So it's like a 15.6 inch uh, monitor and a lot of thin uh, thin <coughs> wood of some kind. I figure it's particle press board of some kind. Really doesn't matter. I don't expect super solid. I mean, it feels solid. Don't get me wrong. The whole thing, when put together, feels very solid. Uh, but, you know, there's only so much you can expect. Um, and I thought it was very nice. I was very happy. Very well packed. Uh, I got I to gotta put it to at games on this. They really, really, really packed this thing up very nicely. Uh, did a great job. Um, you see just both sides wrapped up and you pull it out. And of course, everything's covered in your <clears throat> plastic and so forth. 
And I don't know why I left this one in. It's just me taking the plastic off. Uh, I know it's so exciting to watch, to watch a Weeble. Um, yeah, watch a Weeble take uh, the plastic off. <laughs> you put the unit right up. It basically, it's very light, so it's easy. This is very much a one-person kind of situation, so it's not all that hard. <clears throat> Uh, there are the uh, wing nut bolts. Uh, they're basically one side wing, the other side is just a, the bolt, and you screw them straight down. I'm going to show you a picture right here of what it looks like when they're bolted in in the back. Uh, there are some lines that come through, so lines that come through from the body. But here, as you can see, there are four wing nut bolts. You put them through, and then you uh, just wing nut them on, and boom, they're on, and that holds the back back board on. Now you'll see there are two lines coming through the bottom from the body to the backboard. Uh, one is a um, HDMI and the other one's just like a power cord of some kind. They snap right on. No big deal. Very easy to do. Um, it, it's really it's really a very simple process. I'll be buying an extra board there so I can switch so I can hook up to my computer and play computer pinball games on there as well. But that's what it looks like when hooked in. And here's me just doing the final unveiling. And then in the end, just pull all that plastic off. And now there'll be some sound. I'm going to have to probably have to talk over the sound because I want to keep the sound going. <clears throat> but I want to show you a quick gameplay run. Uh, the game you're going to see is called Combat. And <coughs> it's by Zachariah. I happen to like the music on it. As you can see, the Pinball Legends uh, words at the top marquee tend to shine onto the backlash, especially when it gets darker. Um, nice thing is, is it's lit from behind, so basically I'm going to take some, uh, I don't know, some cardboard or something just to, to block some of the light a little, and it'll dim it down, maybe some construction paper, uh, and cover it from behind. It's easy to get into the backlash and do it. Um, I like the way this thing runs. Uh, I'll tell you the uh, the ability to shake the machine. You also have buttons on the side to shake the machine, but you can shake it physically. It actually works very, very well. Uh, sound is interesting. Uh, works pretty well, but there are a lot of different sound differences between the two. So, nice thing is you can save to each uh, game uh, how much sound you want uh, and so forth. You know, what volume sound for each uh, game because you will need it. But the shaking does work on this and it works very well uh, and so forth. Um, not my favorite games and so forth, but I, this is just to show you what was available, uh, uh, you know, what it's like when you get this machine put together and how it works, and it actually works very well. I'm very happy. I think it's about $800, so $750 well spent. Uh, this particular uh, wave of the model came with uh, volumes one through four, the Zachariah pinballs, which um, add a whole bunch more um, sound to the, uh, adds a whole bunch more uh, pinball games to the uh, unit itself. And that's all I got to say. Verdier out. <laughs>